One of the happy memories that I can remember from the past is getting together with family and playing board games. And many families around America celebrating Thanksgiving are doing that over this Thanksgiving holiday weekend. There is a game, though, that I do not want you to ever play. Don't play the blame game. It just is a game where no one wins, ever. M. Scott Peck said, The entirety of one's adult life is a series of personal choices, decisions. If they can accept this totally, then they become free people. To the extent that they do not accept this, they will forever feel themselves victims. Now, my friend, I know that you know someone that feels that they are a victim. Everyone does, because so many people do. In John 9, 1 through 3, it says this, His disciples asked, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, causing him to be born blind? And Jesus said, you're asking the wrong question. You're looking for someone to blame. There is no such cause and effect here. Look instead. Now listen to this. Look instead for what God can do. So often when something befalls us, we get into that pit of misery and we never get out. But if we have the right attitude of mind, God can do wondrous things for us, if we are but willing. Or do we choose to remain a victim? To blame others for our problems is the absolute height of error. Yet blaming others is so easy to do. And improving ourselves is much harder. So instead of solving problems, we're often tempted to fret over the perceived unfairness of life while doing little else. Are you looking? this weekend, for an ironclad formula for problem solving that will leave you happier, healthier, and wiser, then don't play the blame game. It's a game in which all the participants lose. When Jesus' followers looked for someone to blame, the Master warned them to refrain from such short-sightedness, and we must do likewise. And then, when we have made peace with our past, we can focus clearly on the future and the wonderful things that God can do. God bless you.